Welcome to the Robotic Process Automation for Developers, a video course by Pact Publishing. I am Ramesh Nogai and I am the author of this course. Before starting the course, let me share something about myself. I am a certified and accredited RPA UiPath trainer providing UiPath trainings to corporates and e-learning institutes. I have trained more than 800 professionals from companies such as Deloitte, Oracle, Walmart Labs, Infosys, Capgemini, Accenture, EXL, Edureka, and many others. Prior to this role, I was delivery manager at Nugent Software Technologies, responsible for delivering process automation implementations using BPM and DMS products. I have more than 20 years of IT experience in service delivery and product development. I have worked in the areas of process automation, IT risk management, pharmacy benefit management, CAD CAM and e-governance product development. The RPA industry is growing at a very rapid rate and is expected to reach US dollar 4.3 billion by 2022. It is a great time to build skills as an RPA developer. So now let's have a look at what we have got in store for this course in detail. First, we will look at the, the world of RPA and UI path. In this section, we will start with understanding RPA technology, where can it be applied to, and what benefits it provides. We will see RPA in action through real demos. We will talk about attended and unattended robot types and various capabilities of RPA technology. In section 2, Workflows, Activities and Packages, we will learn about workflow diagrams in Studio, where and how to use them using activities and packages. In section 3, Getting Grips with Automation using UiPath, we will learn about UI elements and their selectors to uniquely identify them at runtime to perform keyboard and mouse related input and output actions. We will also learn about scraping techniques such as screen scraping and data scraping. In the next section, recording types in UI path, we will learn about various recorders available in the UiPath Studio and how to use them to record different types of applications such as desktop, web and remote. In section 5, Programming and Data Manipulation, here we will learn about programming concepts in UiPath such as data types, variables, arguments, namespaces, condition and loop control flow activities, data manipulation, debugging and error handling. Finally, in the last section, automating Excel, PDF and email documents, we will learn about how to automate interactions with Excel, PDF and email. We will also have an overview of couple of advanced topics, orchestrator, and robotic enterprise framework. Moving further, let's see some prerequisites for this course. For successful completion of this course, students will require the computer systems with Windows 7 or above operating system, dual core 1.8 GHz 64-bit or better processor, 4 GB of RAM or better, and up to 1 GB storage space. Some software requirements are .NET Framework 4.6.1 or later one, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Office 2013 or newer for Excel and Word, PDF Acrobat Reader, latest versions of Internet Explorer, Chrome and Firefox browsers, any virtual machine software such as Citrix, VMware or VirtualBox. To learn this course effectively, you would need basic understanding of elementary programming concepts such as 
data types, variables, loops, conditional statements, and high-level object-oriented programming concepts. Experience with any language such as .NET, C Sharp, Java, C++ would be a plus, though not mandatory. Non-IT professionals coming from business domain or process operations can also learn RPA UI path. IT infrastructure professionals having experience with IT infrastructure operations can also learn RPA UI path to leverage it in their automation work. Working knowledge with desktop and web applications and commonly used tools such as Excel, PDF and email would be handy. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin this journey together and I hope you will enjoy the ride.